go. Here we go. Missed it. I've been wanting to talk with Christine for a minute. Christine Fiera. Um, big news just dropping. Um, so pumped and honored. Like that. You're like, let's get it. Let's do this first little conversation since this beautiful fight poster came out yourself. Knuckle Mania 2, February 19th, yourself and Britton Beltron. For one, first of all, how are you doing? And uh, we'll get into everything else, but how are you? I'm good. Thank you. Just training, getting ready for this fight. Yeah. Feeling good, happy. I'm glad that uh, Bear Knuckle and David Feldman is giving me the opportunity to, you know, be the champion. Absolutely. Uh, so much there to unpack. There's so much I want to go into. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just how about this? First question is, how long did you know before this fight poster got released? There's it. It was pretty, I, it, from afar, it was kind of obvious. You two guys, and especially you guys going back and forth, talking a lot. She's talking yeah. a lot. And just seemed like it was the right matchup to make. How long did you know before this fight poster came up? It was YouTube. Uh, about a few days. Okay, a few days. Okay. Yeah, I didn't even know. Like, I just been, she was calling me out, talking shit. And then she right. says I didn't, I didn't really beat her. And she's number one and all this. So I just... And I really didn't want to fight her again, really, because of the first fight. But she just irks me somehow. I'm like, okay, I need to shut her up. So I'm 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 excited about this fight. Yeah, I had something else to go into, but you said something that just light bulb. What do you like? You said you kind of you don't want to fight her because if I'm I'm taking this because of how dominant you were in the first one. Is that right? Yeah, the first one, it was just like, I already know I could beat her, you know, um, and I know it's been a couple, it's been a year and a half or two, I don't know exactly how long, Right. but I mean, you know, I say she's improved, you know, I'm just giving her some credit, I've given her some credit, um, I feel like she's been more, uh, she has more confidence, that's what yeah. I feel like she's improved yeah. in, is her confidence, and, um, but her skill set is still the same, I feel. Okay, okay. Um, you said, you know, for a couple of days, uh, I know how excited and how bad you wanted this opportunity. Now you see the fight poster. It's been kind of 24 mm-hmm. hours of social media stuff. How do you feel now since you see the poster, you got that date, it's, it, it's locked in. It's, it's actually, locked in. it's actually only been 24 hours since it's been signed. So wow. this okay. morning is when it was released. So yeah, I'm taking it all in still. And I didn't believe cause it, People were, um, my manager say something, they're saying something, they, I, I didn't know it was going to be a title fight, What thought it was going to be a tournament, all this yeah. stuff. So I just, I don't believe anything until right. I get a contract. So to, I'm still taking it in. It still hasn't set in that right. I'm going to be fighting for the first bare knuckle belt. Right. You know, and it's, and I told David Feldman, I shot him a text a long time ago. I said, I want to be your first champion. And I, it was after I had lost my belt and I was like, I wanted to be your first champion because I knew that he was going to have that or Helen probably when she had the belt, she was going to be probably fighting for the bare knuckle belt right. next, you know? So I didn't think I was going to have that opportunity, but now, you know, I, I am. And I'm happy about that. Absolutely. And I, I, you know, I see stuff on social media as well and some things out of the camp. And sometimes I, I, I think I hear it through you or at least through your body language. It feels like sometimes bare knuckle FC is reluctant to put the rocket launch behind you to put yeah. the cameras in front. Okay. Okay. There you go. Oh, absolutely. Why do you think that is? Like, I, I don't know. Okay. I feel too. I feel too. You're... No, my image, you know, my image isn't typical. I, I'm not the girl. I'm not prancing around you know i'm not prancing around in my bikini i'm not prancing around flirting with a bunch of guys and doing only fans and um batting my eyelashes and doing all this you know i'm <laughs> i'm just a straight savage i'm a i'm a straight fighter um right. i i just i i'm i'm a different i'm different and that's yeah. why i'm a misfit i'm a misfit and i don't fit the bill i don't fit the entertainment um image okay that's what I think, but okay, I'm telling, I'm, I'm, but I'm telling them right now. I've told how many times I, I've told David Feldman. I'm like, bro, I will sell tickets. Just promote me. And then they have these other girls coming up, and they're like, oh, we have more numbers than you. Yeah, you have more numbers than me because you're being promoted, mm. and you have that pretty face, and you have you fought these bigger names. I haven't been able to fight those names. If I fought Beck, I fought Pearl, I fought 
blah, 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 Paige. I fought Rachel Ostevich. Trust me, I would be way bigger than any of these 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 girls. I would right. have quadruple, ten times the fans and the followers that Britton Hart has accumulated from un, from other people. All my fan base and all my people are generated for me, my name. Business. I'm self made. I'm self made, baby. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Um, David Feldman, I think, is going to be pleasantly surprised, and I think BKFC is going to be yeah. pleasantly surprised about how people do react to me and how much people do love or hate me. They're either going to really hate me because I'm a I'm a, a strong, confident female right. that speaks her mind, or they're gonna they're gonna hate me for that, or they're gonna love me for that for standing up for myself. Absolutely, and Christine, like you remind me a lot. You know, I I love bare knuckle, but I, I'm an MMA guy. I love the UFC, mm -hmm. and you remind me a lot to me of like Amanda Nunes, like mm -hmm. how dominant she is, how beautiful she is, and just the uh, a martial artist. Like you have a lot of like she doesn't like like yourself to me. If I could say like doesn't yeah. talk a lot or talk a lot of shit or or yeah. you know on top of a mountain. Like you have a and Amanda, what she you know I know she just lost, but she is she is unquestionably the greatest female mixed martial yeah, arts all time selling out pay-per-views main event in card after card so like yeah. to me you guys have a lot of you know similarities right yeah yeah i um i'm i'm bumping it up a little bit you know i have to for yeah. you know i have to bump up what i'm doing and i have to go with the times and what's going on you know so um i do i i do like coming into my 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 misfit character, my, my misfit, whatever you want to call it, you know, right. it's fun. It's fun. I get to do things that I couldn't do. I, I don't do it out in, in the real world. Don't go around like, fuck you. I'm going to beat your ass. I don't right, talk right, to people right. like that. You know right. what I mean? But this is competition. This is a fight. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm here to beat the shit out of anybody they put in front of me. And that's what I train to do every day. So if I can express myself loud and do that and, and talk shit, um, it's all sport. You know, I'm talking shit about, oh, you suck, you, you're slow, you have bad right. head movement, your footwork sucks, you know, um, <laughs> you know, I mean, it's, it's all, it's all, it's all mind games. It's all part of the game. It's mental. There's the mental part. There's the physical part, yeah. you know, and there's the emotional part and you got to be strong in every single area. And Absolutely. if you have a chink in your armor, I'm going to find it yeah. and I'm yeah. going to, and I'm going to champ. break it down and I'm going yeah. to break you down in every single way I can. Man, I'm so excited. Um, <laughs> So like I said, on your social media platforms, one thing I saw as well, you put on your Instagram stories and you know my uh, relationship with Taylor Starlin, absolutely yeah. one of my best friends on this planet. Yeah. And I saw that you wrote on their story, you're like, hey, Taylor, um, you know, like you called her like the blonde something. I'm pretty I blonde. said, hey, I'm blondie. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you're like, hey, just stay ready because you felt maybe for some reason, maybe Britain doesn't make it to February 19th in Knucklemania 2 and you still want to fight, we'll fight for the for the title and you think Taylor might be next or should be next. Why do you think that's, are you playing mind games to Britain or do you think there's a legitimate shot? She ain't going to be there in February. Yeah. I mean, there, okay. There's so many possibilities with COVID. Yeah. COVID is running crazy. I've yeah. already had a title shot taken from me for, from a COVID shot. I mean, from um, COVID shutting us down. That yeah. was my rematch with Helen Peralta. Um, Kansas city got shut down that day that we showed up. Yeah. I was going to kill Peralta. Anyway, <laughs> So, um, but yeah, and, and I think um, Taylor Starling, I mean, she's what, 3 you know, right? Or, yep. Yeah, she's 3 you know. So, I mean, who else would be next, right. you know? Um, and, I mean, be ready because what if they do? What if she does get hurt or gets COVID or something happens three weeks out? I mean, she if she's, if she's ready, she, jump in. Let's yeah. do it. Wow. You know what I mean? That would be a dope fight. You know what I mean? I would like the buildup to be a little bit uh, better, you know, than a three-week notice, but people would love to see that fight they would and i don't think taylor would be upset with me saying this too um she really does she would in the most like love and respectful way she like thinks you you two guys are like the like the most respectful best fight there could be like she has nothing right. but love for you respect for you she knows you're a badass and yeah. like what you said earlier i really do like you want to you do want to be challenged you do want to see something new and if you I think do. you're, you know, if you're playing pickup basketball and you know you're going to beat this kid, like, yeah, you don't really excited for it. But if you see someone that's your size and height, maybe right. a little bit younger than you, it's like, okay, this exactly. is a challenge. I like it. So absolutely, um, I, I absolutely. know Taylor's excited one day to, you know, toe that line with you. Ashley. Absolutely, it's going to happen. <laughs> it will. Um, 
four, you're okay. You're four and one of the bare knuckle FC. And one thing I saw too is one thing I love. You got all four of your wins are stoppages and yeah. early stoppages too. Is that something you go for? Or something you trigger? You see, or you just fight your fight and it just so the thing organically is, happens. I was talking about this with somebody. Oh, it was my my uh, my facial my facial lady. She's just like you're so chill and calm and then. Like I watch your fights and then you're just crazy. <laughs> and I was just like, yeah, check it out. If you see my fights, like I'm chill, I'm bah, 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 bah. And then something just flips in me. And um, I just, I, I'm instinctual when I fight. I have a lot of uh, skill experience, but I know when to go and when not to, you know? Mm. So I don't, I, I don't, I, this Britain Hart, I want to sleep her. I want okay. to sleep her. But like with all my fights, I just I don't know where it's gonna go. Like somebody could take a lot of damage sometimes, just like Helen Peralta. She took a lot of damage. Right. And um sometimes they just don't go down. But a lot of the time I land my shots and uh the girls that they just can't take the power. Right. You know what right. I mean? I mean you could you could be watching me on TV and be like, Oh, she's not that good, whatever, but you know, I know where to hit you. Right. Right. <laughs> you right. know, and I know where to hit you and I know when it hurts you and that's another thing a lot of a lot of fighters don't recognize when another fighter's hurt i'm very very intuitive and i'm very very detail oriented and i mm. pay attention to a lot of things so I like, that. I like that i i just feel like i know when someone's hurt and i know when i hurt somebody and i know when someone's scared and i pick up on those very easily so that's how i finish my fights i know when to go and when not to go right right um, Knuckle Mania one was Paige and Britain in the main event. Mm -hmm. uh, we talked about, you know, we did mention Taylor last year, three and zero, the fight of the year. Mm -hmm. Britain was the fighter of the year for 2021. Mm -hmm. Yourself, you're back. Uh, not going on the limb. I just think this is just the honest truth. The female 125 pound division is the best division in bare knuckle mm -hmm. FC. There's no doubt about it. The stars yeah. in it, the names in it, the records in it, the title. What does it mean to like, this is it knuckle mania to championship on the line to me like the face not even of just the female bare knuckle or the 125 the winner of this fight one way or another should be the face of bare knuckle fc in the hottest division uh this just is this is big this is a big fight oh my god this is a huge fight i'm i'm super excited i'm not gonna take it all in until after the fight okay. you know i can't really I, that's not how I work. You know, I got to get the job done before I can celebrate anything. I'm that's just the kind of person I am. And then I can sit back and enjoy right now. It's all about that work, right? But I'm right. super, I'm super excited for the, for the opportunity and to be able to work my ass off. I'm going to grind and torture myself to, to no end. That's the thing is I torture myself more than it, these girls ever can or will. That's the thing is when I get in that ring, there's nothing they can do to me that I haven't done to myself right, right. 400 times worse. I torment myself and wow. it's, it's probably not healthy, but I want to be the best. Right. And I, I have a few more years left and I, when I'm done and when I want to pass the torch to someone who's worthy, then that's when, that's when they're going to have their time. But right now it's mine. Right. Right. Um, like a five fights in the bare knuckle. See, I saw that you had that 13 month gap. What, what, what happened in that gap? 13 months. Yeah, like, uh, didn't you have like a 13 month layoff? At Bare Knuckle? Yeah. No, it was like a. I had surgery on my shoulder. Oh, okay, it was surgery. It was surgery. Yeah, I had, um, I was ready to go by July. I had surgery in November. I was ready to go by July, but I didn't fight until October. Right, okay. Um, and it just took you that three months to get a fight. It, kind of so it was, months. oh, it was 11 months. It was 11 months. Oh, no. 11 month. no, wait a second. You know, it was a, it was a 13 month. Come Holy on now. Shit. Come on. You know, we do the research here. We get the gossip. Gee, we get it. God, was just, that's horrible. You stayed so busy almost your whole career. I was seeing you busy, busy, working, no. working, working. And then there was this big gap. I re, But I, I stayed training him. though. I huh? stayed training though. I trained yeah. the whole time. I remember you, I heard you got the injury, but okay. So you had soldier surgery. Yeah. I now, had a late 22. Uh, you're a hundred on this. Yeah. 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 I'm a hundred percent. Um, I had a labrum tear, a bicep tendon tear and a rotator cuff tear. Okay. Damn. And All I right. was fighting with that shit. So yeah, I fought Hella yeah. Peralta like that. I fought Britton Hart with it. Yeah. 
All so, three minutes of it. All three and a half. <laughs> I thought you would like that. <laughs> no, all right. Uh, February 19th, Knuckle Mania. Uh, if it goes your way, get out of there healthy. Oh, it will. Oh, okay. it will. When, when it goes your way, yeah. you get out of there nice and healthy. How quick? Do you want to make it a, a statement year 2022, the year of the misfit? You want three, four fights? Are you happy? Hey, oh, I got yeah. the championship. I wouldn't mind sitting back and them coming to me. Absolutely not. I want to be I'm – a, I'm a fighter that likes to fight. Okay. I want to fight six times in a year, seven, eight times in a year. <laughs> if I could – dude, I am ready all the time. I am sitting – I don't do anything else. People just don't get it. I don't right. have a life outside of training. And is it healthy? I don't care. <laughs> There's no balance when you want to be great. That's and true. that's what one of my coaches tells me. That's There's true. no balance. People want balance. Balance this. Balance that. Go have fun. Do this. No. I have a period that I can be great and be the best I can be as an athlete. You don't get that forever. Right. I'll party and go do what I do after. Or mm. even if I don't want to party or whatever. You know what I mean? I party after my fights. And we all know that I've had my little drunk moments in between fights. Um but it's not something that I do. I, I probably drink at most five times a year. You know, um, it's not something I do. I don't smoke much weed or I don't really smoke any weed. I do edibles here and there. You know, when, when I have like hard sparring days, I'll do edibles to bring down the inflammation. Um, right, right. You know what I mean? So I don't have inflammation. Those Skittles, and stuff like Skittles are good. Oh, yeah, for real. And plus, I don't want to eat. I have to keep my weight down. So if I smoke weed or. Yeah, yeah, eat, yeah. You know what I mean? I, I'm a person that I don't know. I'm just I'm really into what I do. Man, so excited for you, Knuckle Mania too. Uh, also, of course, on the card, a couple of fights are starting to be announced for. We saw that Julian Lane and Mike Perry, uh, yeah. Martin Brown, Louis Palomino. There might be one more. I, you probably know about one or two more. Myself as well. Is there someone like even just those two fights alone? Uh, Stack Carter. How excited and what fight is there? Something you're really looking forward to? You got to see. You got to peek out that curtain, or is it all oh. that night about the Misfit winning that championship? Well, I mean, of course, but no. But um, I really I want to see Julian Lane win. Um, okay. I want to see him take it. Uh, a Palomino. I always love watching Palomino. Palomino is amazing. Beautiful I to love, watch. Oh my God, he's he's amazing. So yeah. um, I love. I get to fight on the same card as him and. Uh, reign champion with him, so I'm looking forward to it. Man, and so with Arnold, oh, I, I don't know. I wish Arnold Adams was fighting that night. I, we think so. We think so. Uh, I we'll, hope so. We'll talk off air if you want. He right. I, I'm 98 percent sure he's lined up with someone. Good, yeah, because yeah. that's my boy. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. going to be a great fight. Yeah. Uh, there, yeah. There's a couple other rumors out there, but it should be a great card. Last thing, and I'll let you run. I know you just got home. You train your ass off. We appreciate <laughs> oh, it. Anything else about Britain? Like, I know that, you you know, I've seen like a, the last 10 days, two weeks ago, you guys have been going back and forth. Would you honestly, if you'd be like, hey, no, Dave, I don't mind. This goes for five more weeks and it'll be the crazy buildup of this fight. Or would you be okay if you guys don't talk about each other for four weeks and then it's just no, fight we're time. talking about each other. Huh? No, nah, this is war. <laughs> okay. This okay. is war. Me and okay. Britain, no heart. So it, it ratchet. started now. Me and Britain, no heart ratchet. Nah. This is this is war. She she's been running her mouth. She's been. I try to help her. I try to be there for her. She flipped on me. Then starts talking a bunch of shit. And her team, her team, are a bunch of clowns. I just a bunch of nobodies. Like have no nothing that run their mouth about athletes and women like they're dudes like talking shit to women like you are the most disrespectful clowns i've ever ever encountered dude and this is not a sport thing between us this is a personal thing and the thing is is um i'm gonna beat the shit out of your girl right in front of you ringside and all her little family members that talk shit that i won't disrespect anybody's mother or anybody's family because I'm not that type of person. But trust me, when I lay her out, that was for them. You know what wow. I mean? So they, yeah. they can enjoy that. That's how I'm going to talk to you. I don't need to sit here and disrespect anybody's family members or do any of that. But when I lay you out and I take your daughter's dreams or when I take your, 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 whoever it is, when I take her dreams right there, that's because your punk asses, you brought that to her. 
the more and more people talk shit to me and the more they feed me that, the more they're making me more lethal to her. That's all I'm saying. So they want to make it worse for her? Keep running your fucking mouse. Because I'm going to embarrass you and your whole family. Wow. Goosebumps over here, Christine. Um, All right. We'll roll. We'll roll. If you have any kind of sponsors or shout outs, anything like that, I'll give you the floor. But I do want to say, uh, yeah, we are a huge fan of you. We love how you handle business. We love how you Thank handle you. business in that I ring. love you guys too. And um, I just wish you health and success. And I can't wait to be there live, Knuckle Mania too. But like I said, I'll give you the floor for any kind of shout outs or sponsors you want. Oh. Oh, my lawyer. My lawyer's probably going to have to be defending me after I murder this shit. Jason Ferguson.